Hello everyone, my name is Skylar and I'm a new media artist and a digital designer and I am recently learning touch designer and I found a pretty low cost way to do creative movement tracking and um, body movement visualization with touch designer and I also created a project recently based on this so I can show you a little bit. So my recent work is also inspired by the fashion designer Iris Van Harpen who is a uh, famous fashion designer, does a lot of works based on the biomimicry so um, her look is full of sense of movement and feels very flowy so um, this project is kind of inspired by this. So today I'm just showing you the fundamental part that makes the movement visualization works based on a real-time human model's movement. You are welcome to use this core technique to um, tweak some of the visuals and make it feel more beautiful, more like a garment. But today I'm not going to do this. I'm just showing you like the basic technique of doing that. So this is the basic setup you are about to learn today. I use a basic human model FBX as the target of the tracking and use instancing to place the dots on this human's body. Then I apply the feedback loop to retain some of the previous movement to giving like just give more of sense of the movement so let's delete this network and get started so to build this network the first thing i'm gonna do is to determine the target of my tracking i download an fbx human model which is doing some sort of cat work from the internet um, so this is the target of my tracking today and what I want to do now is to um, set a container and place this FBX model in. So let's click into the container and inside it I want to do a basic setup for the rendering. So we are having the geometry um, comp and the light, the camera. and also the render top at the end of the network and if we place into um, click into the geometry and delete the torus and then we drag and drop the fbx model into that we can have it inside the network so this is basically how we can bring in an fbx model in in our network if anybody is interested in. You don't necessarily need an FBX model though uh, for um, the tracking. You can just use a, a video of yourself while, while you carve out the background and all, would also do some of the tracking on your body. So I'm just, um, now I'm just adjusting the light, the camera position uh, to make sure um, the render setup does render all of the positions as we see now so yeah it is rendered properly maybe the head space is a little bit too um too at the top so i want to um, do some of the um, camera distance maybe make it more far away from the camera so we get a lot of the space um, above the model's head So yeah, this is it. And now we have the FBX model in the render top, in the render top, sorry. And now we have the container and another thing we need to do is to put in out top at the end of the network. So we got this um, and the toggle that we can use to attach to other tops. So we put a new as a standard setup and then and then I want to place a sphere as um, the basic unit for the tracking so and uh, for the sphere I'm also going to attach it to a standard render setup the light the camera the environmental light just the standard things And by the end of the network, 
make sure to put a render top. So yeah, this is like the render setup for the sphere. And I also want to put a null at the very behind as the final output and make it show up in our viewer. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now what we want to do is to map the circles onto the human body following this model's movement. So what we want to do now is to get the position of um, the move, the XYZ position with a trace. And then we put a um, sprinkle. So we got the dots information for all the points when following its move. And we don't need necessarily a thousand points for the tracking um, because it will cause a lot of um, processing effort for the computer. So I'm just putting a constant and drag it to the sprinkle and change the number of sprinkle to 40. So you can see less dots in the finder. And then I want to get the data information for the XYZ position. So I'm converting the top to the sub. Uh, sorry, the chop to the sub. And then attach a new and name is position, pause. So this is the data information for all the dots. And then um, I want to um, turn on the instancing for the sphere and um, place them in the position of the how the human body moves. So I'm inserting the pause and um, putting all the location information in. And now you can see like the circle is kind of moving, but it's not like exactly moving in the distance of the human moves. So you kind of want to uh, reduce the radius a little bit so it can show more. Now it's show more about the movement. Now it's kind of showing the silhouette of the model. So, and then let's see the effect when it is placed over the model to see how accurate is the tracking. <clears throat> so, oh, it looks a little bit off. So maybe I want to put a transform to make the circles a little bit bigger. So it's used more on this human's body. That looks much better. And to give it more of sense of movement, I kind of want to put in feedback loops so it can retain some of the previous location positions and feels more like something is moving. I put a feedback, put a level in the composite, then connect the transform to the composite. It's like a classic standard setup for the rent for their feedback. And then I plug the composite into the feedback. So you kind of now you kind of can see like the movement information of the previous move. You can also adjust the op um the um, operation you can also adjust the operation to adjust the mode, how they um, interact with each other. So um, for example, the burn color is the ad. So now I think I'm going to stick with the ad. And I want to change some of the opacities uh, in the level. So it can have like different opacity for the previous move. So um, another thing you can do as to um, having some of the material information for the sphere so it can have some colors instead of the white color. But in this tutorial, I'm not gonna do this too much because it's just showing you the idea of tracing the movement and now it's working already. So um, yeah, just do something, um, for example, putting something on the environmental map to <clears throat> adjust the overall lighting in this environment. And yeah, this like purple, uh, this kind of pink and purple edges are showing up. And you can also adjust a lot of per the parameters on the PBR just to um, adjust how it looks to suit your aesthetics. 
so I'm not gonna do too much, but you can definitely play around with the map. So yeah, this is basically everything about this setup. Uh, maybe I want to um, adjust the radius a little bit so you can see the human silhouette a little bit better. So yeah, this is everything for this tutorial. If you like my video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and I will post more of the touch designer video as I um, dive deeper and learn more things about the software. So thank you all for watching.